Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. We're going to go ahead and start a new beginner guide series. This is for Sunflower Land. It is a polygon game. I know most of you are used to me doing a lot of wax games, but we're trying to branch out a little bit to polygon. So we're going to do a beginner guide series on Sunflower Land since it's the first game on polygon I've really been playing. And we're going to go ahead and show different areas of it. Today we're going to go ahead and start out with just a, an overview of the area. Just your first time in the game, you're not sure what you're looking at. We're going to go through the different areas and show you how to move around. And then we're going to do a ton of other beginner guides to really help beginners get into the game as quickly and as smoothly as possible. When you first log in, this is kind of what you're going to see. Uh, it's a, I've been playing it for a few weeks, so it's a, probably a little bit further along than what you'll see initially. You'll probably only see a few land blocks uh, but I wanted to get you oriented with the map itself. This is your main map. You can build anywhere on this this farm area. Uh, you can do crops, trees, and so forth. Every time you expand your land, you get additional items. Uh, for example, the trees or crop plots or rocks or anything along those lines. And you also have the option to go ahead and build. So let's go through the different areas and show you around just this main area here. Up on the top left, you have your bumpkin. This is, this is your main character that you're going to be leveling up. Uh, you get one f essentially free when you actually sign up for the game. Um, if you click on him, you're going to see his level. You can see I'm currently level 10. Very, very close to level 11. Um, you can go ahead and visit your bumpkin if you want. Uh, and then these are the two main areas that, that you want to keep an eye out other than just leveling him up. First is a skill tree. You can go ahead and click on that. Every now and then, when you're leveling up, you'll go ahead and get skill points, and you can go ahead and invest them in different skill trees. Uh, there's different ones from crops, which help you uh, get better production and more efficiency out of your crops. Same with cutting down trees, same with the rocks and cooking and so forth. Um, if you click on each of these different categories, you're going to see different items in the skill tree. They're small skill trees, but they do take some time to work out, and they got some good rewards. Um, the first one in each of them is usually you, you yield uh, better crops or a higher number, usually about 5% crops. Uh, and then it goes all the way down to some really cool rewards from getting gold from sunflowers or get, having a chance of getting double crops. So that's something that you definitely want to check out as you're leveling up. Uh, initially, it's one skill point for every level, then it starts stretching out to two, three levels to get skill points. The other item you want to check out on the list, and I missed this probably the first couple of days that I was playing, achievements. If you click on achievements, there are different quests. They're basically quests that you're going through that you can focus on and you get rewards from. For example, this one here, uh, if you earn 100 of the in-game token, which is SL F S F L, uh, you'll go ahead and get a nice reward of 3.125. Uh, so just keep an eye on those because occasionally you'll, you'll go ahead and complete those not knowing it. So jump in here every now and then just to check your status so you can go ahead and claim rewards. Moving on, let's go down this side. This is your in-game wallet. That's the in-game token. You can see I have 2.66 worth of the SFL. And then you have these tokens which are used to refresh your, your marketplaces. And we'll talk about that in a whole separate video. Uh, you have the hand here which allows you to go ahead and move things around. Uh, if you want to reorganize, you can see mine is pretty messy. I should probably go through the process of cleaning up. Maybe I'll do a whole video on cleaning it up. Uh, and then you have your inventory here, which is the bag on the, the top here. And in your inventory, it has three different tabs. First is your basket, which holds your seeds and your products and your shovels and axes and so forth. Basically, your inventory items that stay in the game. The chest, I have nothing in here right now. But the chest is items that are mintable or you buy on open sea and you transfer into the game. Uh, and it's essentially these totems that are up here. Uh, it can be different outfits. It's just a number of different things that you would get off of open seas that you can go ahead and put in here. And last but not least, this is the building. This is actually a change recently uh, and kind of got me a little uh, backwards because it used to be a, up here on the top left. But if you want to go ahead and build different buildings, it is a tab in your inventory. And there are level requirements. There's expansion requirements to go ahead and build some things. For example, if I wanted to build a hen house, it's going to cost me 30 wood and a whole bunch of other items. So that's how you go ahead and build. And you can build anywhere on here. Once it's built, you can go ahead and move it around. I have all mine clustered on one side because uh, I, I'm not very good at organizing. <laughs> um, and then if you go down here, uh, it shows you the th last three items that you touched. For example, if I go in here to... Uh, and take a look at the different seed, you're going to see something change here.
because that's the last thing I clicked on. If I keep clicking on different items, you're going to see a number of things change in here. So it's a quick way to get back to, uh, if you want to get back to one of the items that you clicked on, you can go through there instead of going through your inventory. It's just a quick selection item. And down here you have the save and the settings. Occasionally it'll save. Um, uh, just to make sure that you, you saved all your, your information. Uh, and then settings is pretty simple. Uh, just different sound, visual, and things like that. As far as the map goes, make sure when you come in here the first time, you actually go through the process of scrolling around. It's not just this area where your land is. Starting at the top, you have this, which is a fruit bearing quest, which you won't use until you're a little bit, a little bit higher level. You got mini games over here on this one. You can go ahead and play a couple different types of mini games. Uh, these two, these three just talk. I haven't quite figured out what they do yet. There is a daily chest that resets at 00 UTC. Uh, every day it does cost um, some matic to go ahead and mint it, but it's minimal and the rewards that you get from this are, are pretty good. So take a look at that. Uh, you have down here, this is new for, for the season that's about to kick off here in a few days as of the time of the recording. So there's going to be a little shop here. You can go ahead and get your bonus and, and use that as a shop. It seems like they're trying to move a lot of um, the items from other islands that you use considerably amount uh, over here. So they just moved the quester over here and this, which I'll show you that here in a second. And then down here, you got a little pirate that talks to you uh, about Treasure Island. Um, as far as your main area goes, as I said, you can go ahead and use any of it. Uh, you can go ahead and continue to expand by clicking on this. It'll uh, you'll expand as you go around the island. It does cost a decent amount once you get to a high enough level. For example, my next expansion is going to take me 100 wood, 40 iron, I'm sorry, 40 stone, 5 iron, and I have to be level 11, which I'm almost there to level 11. So we'll, we'll do that here in the near future. Plus one of those tickets that I mentioned restocks your store. Uh, also, you have a little ship here. Uh, that can take you to different areas that are level restricted. So keep in mind that these are level restricted. The Goblin Retreat, I believe, is level 5. Uh, the Treasure Island is level 10. I just got there. I'm going to do a separate video on that here shortly. And then the other ones are, are higher level. And then you can go ahead and visit friends by using the land ID that's down here. So if you have a friend that's playing the game, you want to check out their land, ask what their land ID is, go visit them and, and check out their, their area. A couple other key areas on the main section here that you want to be aware of uh, is your bumpkin sitting down here. You click on here to feed him. I currently don't have any food to feed him with, but that's how he levels up um, by feeding him different food that you produce either in the, the fire pit that's right here or the kitchen, the kitchen you build separately. Um, and this is the, the little quester. Um, essentially, he's, the, I guess, a farmer. He gives you different quests. Uh, once you complete him, he'll give you another one that give you different rewards. For example, if I go ahead and harvest eight beet root, 80 beetroot, I'll go ahead and get a solar flare ticket, four solar flare tickets, and some seeds, which the seeds come in nice because especially early game, they can be expensive and it's tough to continue to move forward. So focusing on these quests early game is, is something that, that you may want to take a look at these quests and also the achievements that I showed you up here on the top left. Uh, and then the main thing, especially early game that you're going to be using quite a bit uh, is the basically the store. You're going to be buying seeds. Uh, planting them in these crops, wait until they finish up, harvest them, and then sell them here to continue to be able to buy more and build up your, your wealth a little bit so you can start cutting down trees and leveling up and doing those things. So this was a very, very high-level overview of the different areas of the game. Uh, I'm going to go into a lot more depth in future videos. I hope this was helpful. Go ahead and down in the comments below. Let me know if there's any specific questions that you have. If I don't know it, I know a number of people that are playing that can help me out. Um, and then we can go ahead and put together the best beginner guide videos for Sunflower Lands. I hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.